Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to the video on this 2018 Ford Fusion. Uh, this particular Fusion is the SE trim uh, from Ford. Uh, gives you some nice features here. Starting off up front, you do have a nice uh, chrome grill there with the uh, slotted uh, inside of that there, all being chrome as well. Um, coming around, do have a good looking alloy rim there. Looks to be about a, looks like a 17 inch rim. Mounted up with a brand new Michelin tire there. You can see it does have all the little spikes that are still on it there on the edges. Continuing back to the side. So it does have a uh, red and tan pinstripe running the length of the car. Just sort of sets it off a little bit. Gives it kind of a uh, accent against the rest of the uh, body color. Do have a matching room tire there in the back. Back here you can see your Fusion, your SE badging, as well as the chrome tipped exhaust there on the right hand side. Continue up front, looking at the mirror there, you can see that you have a blind spot segment in the mirror. It's just sort of helpful so you don't have to crane your neck uh, whenever you're going to uh, turn or change lanes or anything like that. There's a power driver seat with a lumbar adjustment. The passenger has a power seat as well. Uh, looking over here at the door, you can see all your power windows and locks located in a pretty standard fashion over there, uh, as well as power mirrors and power child like window lock, window lockout button right there. Jumping in, it is a push button start. I like to point out before we start the vehicle, it does have two keys. It's about a $220 value on this car to have the key, the fob, the insert, uh, and have it all programmed and cut. Push the button there. Pretty low miles, uh, which you'd expect for an 18, 13,400 at the moment. Um, so good miles there. Left hand side of the wheel, you have your cruise control items. Right hand side has your Bluetooth and volume controls. Coming down here, uh, Ford started to follow the suit of a lot of the other manufacturers. Changed to a uh, select by wire system here. So if you put it in reverse there, you can see your backup camera pops up here. It does have the predictive line as well as the center guide there, just to tell you how close you are to things as well as just to help you back up and uh, maneuver into parking spaces and, spaces and things like that. All of your radio controls are fairly standard. The car is equipped uh, with a CD player as well as Sirius radio. Uh, you can connect your phone and not only play calls, but also play your music on your phone through the car speaker system uh, via the Ford Sync Infotainment Center. Down here, all of your standard climate controls. Looking down low, you can see you do have a USB outlet as well as a 12 volt power supply down here. One thing I'd like to point out while we're in the car, if you open the glove box and pull this piece of paper out, we do include the, the uh, measurements for all the wearable items as well as the results of our mechanical inspection here on the sheet in the glove box of every car. Um, as you can see, the tires are 9.30 seconds in the front, 8.30 seconds in the rear. Uh, so those tires, like I said, are pretty much new. Uh, typically, car tires come with anywhere between 8 and 10.30 seconds of tread left on them. Uh, the brake pads are 12.30 seconds up front, 11.30 seconds in the back. I believe Pennsylvania State Minimum is 2.30 seconds for a bonded pad. Um, so you're looking at, uh, you know, five to six times uh, the Pennsylvania limit, or Pennsylvania Minimum for pads, and tires are required to be two. So you're looking at four times, at least four times the Pennsylvania Minimum for tire measurements. So your wearables are taken care of for some time to come unless you drive a inordinate amount of miles. Let's turn the car off there. Last part of the video here, just gonna give you a quick walk around of the car. Notice any damage or defects uh, on the vehicle. I didn't really see much when I was going around it before, but I will try to point out anything that I can see and be as clear and upfront as possible. Uh, starting off up front here on the hood, you do have a little, couple little chips that have been touched up there on the hood. That just looks like dirt. Yeah, that's a little mark there too. A um, couple little tiny chips you can see here on the bumper. Uh, nothing that you wouldn't expect from being a Pennsylvania car. Uh, they get, do get uh, a little bit of rocks thrown up on them in the winter, but overall super clean up front. Um, don't really see any dense dings. Scratches, I know we already had a dent removed from this car. I can't remember where it was. It might have been on one of the quarters, um, but they did remove that and it is no longer here. 
But every once in a while we miss one, so I'll walk around and do my best to point out if there's one here. Really don't think there is. So uh, there's a couple chips up front, that's about it. Uh, the one other thing to look at is the wheels. I forgot that on the other side, both the driver's side looks good. Apologize for running around the car here. Uh, passenger front looks good and passenger rear looks good. So all the wheels are good as well. Overall, super good condition car. Uh, these cars do get well over 30 miles to the gallon highway out of a pretty good size sedan uh, at a pretty good value. Uh, so the Fusions are a pretty great buy if you need to commute, uh, need a little bit of extra space, a little more than a compact would offer you. This is a great alternative to that. If you'd like to stop out and check it out, you can see us at 21518 Great Cove Road in McCollinsburg, Pennsylvania. Visit us online at thomasata.com or give us a call at 717-485-4224. Thank you very much for watching the video and I hope you found it to be informative.